Hey everyone, welcome to the episode of the Elixir Foundation series. So in this episode right here, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to set up Croxy and uh, Chrome Remote Protocol. And basically we're gonna talk about like what that's gonna accomplish. Uh, and I'm actually gonna show you guys how we can actually do the server-side rendering stuff like right here in the terminal. Uh, and then we can see what kind of output we should be expecting. And in the next episode, I'm gonna uh, talk about like, okay, what else we can do now? Once we understand how Chrome renders a page, how we can interface with the Chrome remote protocol, um, what do we do next? How do we actually encapsulate this and, and put this into code that we can then use and call on? Um, and then, you know, what are some of the problems that are gonna be coming up when we try to actually, you know, put it in code uh, in, our, in our app? So uh, without any further ado, let's hop right in. So uh, the first thing we're gonna need to do uh, is install Croxy. So uh, if you just do a Google search for Croxy, it's the first link. Uh, it's, it says headless Chrome as a service. And basically what you wanna do is clone this down. So you can copy this URL over here and do a git clone on the project. Um, and then basically right now I have, um, you know, Croxy in here uh, as a git repository. And so what I'm gonna do is basically all I need to do is to run it is just mix do uh, depths get and then compile. So this is an Elixir code base, so it needs to be compiled before um, we can actually use it. Uh, and then once it's compiled, I actually already did all this uh, before. So once it's compiled, what we can now do is mix run no halt. So basically, um, Croxy uses Chrome, which means you need to have Chrome installed on your Mac uh, before it will actually work. So once you run it up, uh, once it runs, it looks something like this. And uh, so that will pretty much be it in terms of setting up Croxy. So you clone it down, you run mix uh, do depths.get and then compile, uh, as I showed you before. And then basically we do a mix run no halt. And then now our Croxy service is running and it's actually already talking to our, um, it's already actually talking to our Chrome uh, web browser, but it's doing it in a headless manner, which means you cannot see what's going on. All right, so now, once we have that, uh, what we need to do is we need to set up our project um, to use Chrome Remote Interface. So how do we do that? Well, let's take a look at what we need to do. So I'm gonna head over into the Bodyful code base over here. And uh, down here, uh, I'm gonna add two dependencies. So Croxy client, which is gonna be 0.1.0. .0. And then here I'm gonna do uh, Chrome remote interface. And then that's also gonna be 0.1.0. .0. And now we're gonna do a, um, sorry, just add a comma there. And then I'm gonna do a mix depths.get. So now it's gonna install the dependencies in our project. And so before we actually go and write the code, let's go ahead and run this in our terminal and see what happens. So um, the page we're gonna be trying to do server-side rendering is the Artellectual homepage. Um, and I've got the URL over here, you know, just to make it easy for us to basically, um, you know, try out. So basically I know that this is a single page application. It's being rendered with React. Um, you know, it has, um, you know, code splitting and all that stuff. So uh, feel free to use this as a demo uh, for, you know, your use case when you're trying this out. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and try this out. So I'm gonna do IEX hyphen S and then mix. So this is going to basically run the project with the dependencies. Uh, and then what we can do now is call on those dependencies. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect to our Chrome browser in here. All right, so PID equals uh, Croxy client dot page session. And then basically here, we're gonna type in the host and it's gonna be local host. And the port is gonna be one, three, three, zero. So these are the default port and setup for Croxy. And uh, what, what this is going to do is gonna put out the PID. So uh, in Elixir, we have these things called processes, uh, which I'm gonna talk a little bit about more about later. But what essentially what this is, is, is kind of like a reference to the process inside of the, the VM, the Beam VM. 
Uh, so now we have the PID saved. So you can see now it's connected. So if I look at my terminal, you see that it is actually connected. And you can see here, obtain a new page from Chrome server. So now we have actually a way to control Chrome. So I'm going to head back into here, and then I'm going to actually use Chrome to navigate to that page. All right, so, um, OK, res equals um, Chrome remote interface dot RPC dot page dot navigate. And then now we're going to pass in the PID, the process that is connected to the Chrome remote interface. And then now uh, we're going to pass in the URL. So URL. So this is where we pass in the actual web address. So what this is going to do is it's actually going to go and fetch the page, right? And then now uh, let's try and get the actual HTML out because that's what we need, right? We need Chrome to go and fetch the page, and then we need to get the HTML um, that we then will serve to our client, right? So uh, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to do uh, OK, and then result. And then uh, we're going to do Chrome remote interface dot RPC dot um, evaluate, sorry, dot runtime dot evaluate. And we're going to pass in the PID. And here we're going to use expression. And it's going to be a document dot document element dot outer HTML. All right, so um, all of this stuff I'm typing in is coming from the Chrome remote interface. Now, before we actually go in and you know build and learn Elixir a little bit further, I want to uh, let you guys understand something about Chrome remote interface. So we just have to kind of like follow along with the Chrome remote interface until we know exactly what we're trying to get out of it. Um, so basically, Chrome remote interface, you can go and Google and look at the documentation. So I'll have the documentation linked below has a certain APIs that we can use um, that will return us the HTML. You can use it to do all kinds of things. You can browse through the page, take screenshots, um, capture the image, and then save image as a file or upload it to S3. You can do all kinds of stuff right, with a web page. You can use it to crawl. You can download the web page, and then you can later on crawl to do like certain things. If you want to do uh, indexing of uh, pages or whatever, you can crawl the pages. And, and that's exactly what Google does. Is it crawls your page, gets the HTML, and then it puts it in a database, and it indexes and do all kind of stuff. So Chrome Remote Interface allows us to kind of like use Chrome to kind of like browse those pages automatically. Well, you know, we can write the code to control it. And then we can um, you know, output the HTML. So for example here, you can see here that in the result, when we get the outer HTML, we can see the result here. And you can see that you know, this is the actual HTML that we're going to get uh, when we go to that page. So it's the full HTML, right? Um, which is different. So um, if I go into here and I do a view source, so I'm going to do a view source. So I'm going to click on show page source of uh, Art Intellectual. The HTML here is very different because now you can see here inside of the, the body, there's just loading. And everything else is coming through because of the JS rendering. But in our Croxy, the result is much more promising because we are actually getting the full page HTML, which is exactly what we want. This is what it means to server side render something. Like it means you're not just you know getting the JavaScript and the CSS. You're getting the full rendered page. Give us a like, share, and also become a member on our site to get access to more Elixir content. Um, where the, the next episode might not be free, uh, and we have a lot of member exclusive episodes on our site. So check that out. Uh, if you're interested in learning Elixir. Um, and in the next episode, we're going to explore why, um, you know, now, like, like, now we know, oh, it's just three lines of code. We connect to Chrome, and then we just, you know, navigate to the page, and we render the page. We should just, just put that in the code, and then call the code, and we'll call it a day, right? Well, it's not that simple. And in the next episode, you'll see why. That's a wrap. I'll see you guys in the next one.